The advent of the Cubist movement at the beginning of the 20th century marked a real change with what happened before, particularly in terms of the way that the art world reimagined its subject matter and presented it back to its audience. Gone was the obsession with photorealism and forensic detail, and instead in its place came a new dimension that added form, movement, but above all a sense of context. This, the Cubists argued, provided a much more meaningful and relevant interpretation of society, particularly as the 20th century was getting into full gear. And it seems to me that financial markets need to undergo a similar rethink in terms of how they interpret their subject matter, data, especially given the explosion both in its volume and variety. But how does finance face off to big data? What are some of the problems and what might some of the solutions look like? So exactly how big is big data? Well, it's estimated that by the year 2020, there'll be something like 40,000 exabytes of data to sift through. I didn't know what an exabyte was either, but apparently it's a one with 18 zeros after it. And if you add up every single word ever spoken by mankind, you get to just four exabytes. But the most telling statistic is that 90% of the world's data has been produced in just the last two years. What this means is that our ability to produce information has vastly outstripped our ability to interpret it and gain insight from it. Another problem lies in the relationship between structured and unstructured data. The structured data is great, price feeds, broadcast news, because generally you can trust it. The problem is that everyone else has the same stuff. So the trick is how do you mine through social media, blogs, tweets, in order to get context so that you can interpret the numbers faster or more accurately than your competitors. And how do you do this in a way that you strip out all the noise and layer the relevant information over your more formal data sources? And finally, in an industry obsessed with audit, compliance, security, how do you face off to big data in such a way that keeps your compliance folks happy? I think that the key to solving some of these issues is to take a leaf out of the Cubist handbook and reimagine how data is viewed and manipulated. It's interesting that the basic tool used by the industry hasn't changed much since the mid-70s. It's called a spreadsheet. And yet when the next generation of traders enters the workforce, they will expect something far more immersive, visual and mobile than anything currently available. Crucial to this whole process was being able to get to the big picture quickly and then delve into the detail rather than the other way around. Because in the world of big data, fussing around with detail unless you know you're looking in roughly the right direction is simply too time consuming. Unstructured data provides a different sort of challenge. How do you create order out of something that is inherently disorganised? Well the answer lies in the curation process analysing and documenting the links between the blogs, tweets and other forms of social media on any particular subject. But it has to be automated so that it will scale and can be pointed at any particular subject at any point in the trading day. Only that way can the human brain do what it does best, which is develop insight. The fintech world is full of a whole bunch of smaller firms that claim to solve some of these problems. Unfortunately, many of them will fail to gain traction because they'll fall at the first hurdle in terms of vendor viability, security or audit. And so what I think is needed is a new approach that finds a way to intelligently blend these applications into the existing trading frameworks that firms have. That way they'll be able to bring together different data sources and use the most appropriate tools for the job, safe from the knowledge they're part of a trusted security and audit framework. The Cubist movement had a permanent and far-reaching impact, not just on the world of art, but music as well, and served to permanently change the way that we think about our surroundings. Big data is fast becoming part of the new normal faced by financial institutions around the world. Those firms that can successfully reimagine their approach to this will be at an undeniable and permanent advantage. <laughs>